You know, one of the trickier things about being a celebrated actor is sort of the, um, the preconceived notion that you're always on. You're always open for business. You're always there to entertain wherever you are, you know, even at times when you're not at work. And while that is troublesome for me, um, there are ways to sort of counteract it, uh, one of which is, uh, you know, finding a place outside of work where you can just go and really be yourself. Posted up in the club, just swagging, doing my thing. Popping bottles with models and just watching them drink. Uh, a little sanctuary, if you will, in a uh, cavernous ravine of, of uh, you know, craziness. And I've been very fortunate in finding a few of these nice little intimate spots where I can just let my hair down and really, really go and relax with some close personal friends. Partying so hot, the ladies don't want it to end. They looked at me and said, Is it just me or is AJ getting on? Is he? I'm not sure I just want to be here. If you know what I mean. When, uh, when were you going to tell me? Tell you what? I can't help but notice the... I think it's mine? <laughs> yeah, Matthew, it's yours. Absolutely. <laughs> Pyru? When, when, when do you think it happened? Pyru? Are you serious right now? Do you think? Have we ever been alone together? Ever? I... No. Did you notice that AJ is pregnant? Yeah, I noticed AJ is pregnant. Is that something you might be interested in? Getting pregnant? This upcoming episode, we've got someone on it that I'm not a particular fan of, for obvious reasons. I think when I tell you who his name is, you're not going to be a fan of him either. Where do you need me to sign? You are number five, good sir. What the? F how do I know? How do I know him? Jason Alexander. It's someone who has numerous times said things that I really wish he had not said about people that I care about, and that's a that's a. He's a racist, this guy. But you don't know the thing. But you... Hey, Seinfeld. Yeah. Matthew. Hey, man. Matthew. Good to meet you. Yeah. Is your name? Your, yeah. Your, uh, your name Jason. is Seinfeld. Jason. Yeah, Jason. Jason. Yeah. I just, uh, yeah. I think it's cool how you ruined your career like that. Did you work on September 12th or no? No. You don't? I ruined my career like what? What? Oh, just with the whole racism thing. September seventeenth. The whole uh, the the race the, when you made that remark about the, you know, I know you know. Uh, it, it wasn't that. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't me. It wasn't Hitler either. His name's Jerry Seinfeld. He's a comedian. He had some show, some TV show called Seinfeld, and he came out and he made some pretty awful things. Said some pretty awful things about about people, not like me, but people like me. You never saw a Seinfeld? You don't know the show? Not familiar. And you never saw the, the tape of the incident that we're talking about? You familiar with Seinfeld? Yeah. Can I borrow it? You can copy it on DVD or something? I should know the enemy. And I, it offends me on so many levels that you would make fun of Chinese people like that. That I just, and when I heard, and you know, I, I, I'm sorry, can I air something really quick? I said, when they told me that, Seinf that Jerry Seinfeld was going to be on this show, I said, I don't want to work with the racist. And I called Nina Tassler, I called Les Moonves, and I said, if you're going to have this guy on the show, I don't want to be in scenes with him. And you know what they said? No. I don't either, because I, I, I left a message, and their, their guy, I, I, I was, uh. You know what, the thing about racist is, you can always tell what a racist looks like. You can just tell. I know when a racist walks in. Let me ask you a question. Is your contract all shows produced? I don't know. Yeah. You're like in every episode? I mean, yeah. It's interesting because I'm directing one later. Of Seinfeld? No, of your show. Criminal Minds? Yeah. That's going to be interesting. That'll be fun. We'll have a good time. It's going to be like an all Chinese. Yeah. It's a, it's a big Chinese episode. We'll have fun. 
I can smell a racist. That's one of the things that I, my, my kindergarten teacher, Miss Pierce, said about me. She's like, that kid knows a racist when he sees one.